In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Ford's self-driving system. That's Ford's Blue Cruise because it's not as simple as just turning on the cruise control. You need certain parameters set up. You need Ford Pass and on your touchscreen, you're gonna need to actually turn certain options on. These vehicles don't actually come equipped and ready to do this. So this is a must know video to get your Blue Cruise working so that you can make full use of your self-driving system on your Ford and soon almost every Ford model will be offered with this self-driving system. So today we're gonna to be doing this in both the F-150 Lightning as well as the Ford Mach-E to really give you a good, an excellent idea of how to set this up. So first of all, once it is set up, you're gonna see the little cruise control icon go blue. That means Blue Cruise self-driving is ready and you can let go of the steering wheel. Otherwise, if you let go of the steering wheel and it's green, well, that's just your regular lane centering system. And the system's gonna tell you to get your hand back on the wheel. And do remember not all roads are self-driving or blue cruise ready but there are several steps you need to do to get this system going so let's get right to this put the pedal to the metal and show you how it's done all right so here we are in an f-150 lightning and it's the same system as in the mach e so these vehicles have blue cruise and actually some of your f-150s are gonna also have Blue Cruise. So it's really important if you want this to actually function. Now, if you're a sales consultant working at a dealership, you need to know this. And if you're thinking of buying one of these vehicles or currently own one, you need to absolutely know how the Blue Cruise works because unfortunately it often comes from factory not set up to actually function. So step one, you need to absolutely go into Ford Pass, create an account, and get your Ford Pass working. Now, step two, you press the little vehicle up here. So on the Mach-E, it's a little Mach-E. On the Lightning, it's the Lightning. You need to go down to over here to settings. First of all, I do suggest you could drive in one pedal to recapture more better battery energy. So that comes from the electric motor creating friction or resistance to charge the battery. But let's stay on topic here. Let's click that settings button. Now you've hit the settings button and you think everyone, everything should be set up for Blue Cruise for the vehicle driving itself, but it is not. They often come from factory without having everything on. So you need to turn on all your technology. So you go over here to lane keeping. You're gonna go to lane keeping, press the little arrow. If you don't know what something does, the little eye here will tell you all about it. So you can hit the eye, it tells you and even shows you what lane keeping does. So I'm going to close, go over to mode, alert. You need more than just alert if you want the vehicle to drive itself. You need to have the alert and allow aid because right now it was just gonna let you know you're going out of the lanes. You need to go to alert and aid so it can help you. You can see the little steering wheel there. The system is going to work the steering wheel for you. So if it can't work the steering wheel, it can't keep you in the middle of the lane. Now, we've seen that with the Mach-E. It does a great job of keeping you in the middle of the lane. And even if there's a big truck covering those lines, it'll keep you off a transport truck, even if the camera can't see the lines because of a transport truck blocking them. Now, you're also going to want to make sure that, of course, all your sensors are on. So that's great. Then you'll go over to cross traffic alert. Well, that's on. Good. Driver alert. That also needs to be on. So all your technology needs to be on. We'll go to pre-collision assist. Of course, pre-collision assist. That also needs to be on. And for the fun of it, distance indication. You can go read up on that provides a little graphic. You don't need to actually have that on, but I'm turning it on just the same. So we've turned on lane keeping system on. Now adaptive cruise control, let's also go check that out. Speed sign recognition. Well, we'll turn that on as well. It'll let us know how fast we're going. Well, it lets us know what the speed limit is. I'm gonna turn that on just because it's a great idea to have it. And you don't want to be on normal cruise control. You absolutely have to be on adaptive cruise control. So that's what you need to do to make sure your Blue Cruise actually functions. So get it set up because when you get your vehicle, the Blue Cruise is never going to function unless you step one, 
fill out your Ford, create a Ford Pass account and link the vehicle, meaning you're gonna have to give them the serial number of the vehicle. You can scan it on the door code right here, or you can punch it in by hand, but it is pretty easy just scanning that code right there for Ford Pass so that you can have your Blue Cruise function and you can have some stress-free, easy driving. Now in the dash here, when you're just on cruise control, this little emblem down here is gonna be green. But when it goes blue, that means you now have the self-driving and you can remove your hand from the steering wheel. But you see that flashing right there? Yep, that's gonna be watching you. And this little square over here is also gonna be watching you. You need to keep your eyes on the road. So that's all there is to that, folks. And uh, let's see how it actually works in real the real world. So here we're using the blue cruise, meaning I can actually take my hand off the steering wheel and it is gonna keep us in the lane. This is actually going quite well. You know how to use blue cruise and you know when it's working, when you've got that little blue light on, you have to keep looking at the road, but for the lane keeping, little old vehicle with the steering wheel, and it'll turn off if you're not looking at the road. You can have your hand off the wheel but you definitely do need to be looking at the road. So they'll warn you, they'll take it off. But basically you just know it's working when you've got that little blue vehicle and the little lines and steering wheel blue. When it's green, you just have regular lane centering technology. With lane centering, you need to keep your hand on the wheel, but Blue Cruise, you can take your hand off the wheel as long as you're looking at the road. You just set your cruise control, you've got to press the little lines button with arrow right down here. So you press that, and when it's ready, it'll turn on Blue Cruise. Do keep in mind, this isn't gonna work on all roads because some roads just aren't, aren't ready for it. It's not programmed in. But this way you can just put on your favorite channel, list some good tunes, not, you know, you do need to look at the road, but you're not focusing quite as much. And I was passing transport trucks, and this technology worked really, really well at keeping in the, me in the middle of my lane, the passing lane, and not coming into contact with that vehicle. So you hit the brakes, of course, and it gets canceled. I've got one pedal on, so quite a bit of, you, you could say, well, slowing down due to the electric motor compressing using the electric motor basically uh, slows down the vehicle and charges the battery at the same time so I like to drive in one pedal it was pretty annoying at first but then and I thought I wouldn't like it I didn't like it but in using it I got to liking it quite a bit we're in a corner here we've got the lane centering working really well with the adaptive cruise control so it's keeping the distance from the vehicle in front of me if I take my hand off the wheel it will keep me away from that truck when it's ready it's gonna go blue because until it, if it's just green the little icon down there you're just on regular lane centering with adaptive cruise control but when it does go blue you can take your hand off the steering wheel but do remember you keep, need to keep your eyes on the road but this technology so far is working really well except for uh, last night where the highway uh, splits at the end it comes to an end the highway and you have to go left or right I needed to use my blinker to indicate I want to go right otherwise it would have kept me on the little bit of extra highway that was left because it is going to keep you on your road so you do you can't turn your brain off just because you've turned the blue cruise or you know the intelligent drive system on you still need to have some thought process and have some intelligence of your own now, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification to not miss out on any important automobile manufacturer news, as well as information to help save you thousands. And here are some other videos that you can watch to really get some helpful info into your life. Thank you for all the support you've given us. Please do subscribe because remember, it helps feed and dress those poodles and bring them on vacation. Until next time, we wish you all more cars and more power.